Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to understand one of the errors that people often get while creating a storage event trigger. So uh, if you can see in my screen, I have created two triggers for my pipeline trigger schedule type of trigger and this is a storage event trigger. So whenever I try to enable it, okay, whenever I try to start this uh, storage event, I'm getting one error. Okay, that we cannot activate this trigger or we can we can we are not getting a subscription status. So I'll tell you what is all about what is this subscription and why we are not able to enable this trigger. If I start this schedule trigger, I'm able to start it. Okay, but if I start this storage event, I'm getting one error. So see it got started, but when I try to publish, suppose I'll just cancel. Just wait for the error that will come okay let's see let's start publishing it in my in case if you don't know how to create a storage here uh, even See, this is the error. Fail to get the subscription status. Fail to get the subscription status. Fail to activate this trig underscore storage. Okay. And it, what it does, it publish the, uh, uh, I mean, what it does, it stop the tr uh, storage uh, trigger. Okay. Storage event type of trigger, but not the scheduled one. Okay. Schedule started and it got published as well. But for storage, when I try to start it, okay, and publish it, I'm getting this error that cannot for the storage event cannot activate triggers or cannot get the subscription status okay as you see and we are not able to activate it if we are not able to activate it we are not able to uh, perform the uh, we will not able to see how uh, how the uh, triggers will be uh, work okay when our file will arrive in the our storage so what actually is happening in the case of storage event triggers in the background that there is a uh, service okay microsoft event grid which is responsible for letting the azure data factory instance that anything is happening that was some file is now put into the storage and now you have to react on that now you have to uh, uh, enable uh, uh, execute your pipeline okay so uh, event uh, event uh, event grid you can say event grid is the is the uh, one of the service which will act as a bridge between the storage and uh, uh, your storage blobs either it is a adls storage or it is a uh, or whether it is a blob storage okay so uh, uh, bridge between this storage and the azure data factory instance so what we need to do to uh, to resolve this kind of the issue what we have to do uh, we have to make sure that whatever your uh, azure subscription is it is must be uh, must subscribe to this service to this uh, Microsoft uh, event grid service okay so what you need to do you have to go to your Azure uh, like I have this uh, go, go to your home portal and here you have a subscription I have this subscription you have to open the subscription and you have to scroll down and check your uh, resource resource providers you have to check all your resource providers okay so event grid you have to uh, you have to add the event grid also as your uh, one of the store uh, resource providers if you can see here i cannot see any event grid here okay so uh, azure data factory is registered with the event grid that is fine okay storage is also registered with the uh, uh, with this uh, okay uh, in my subscription that is fine but we should have an event grid also which will act as a bridge between the storage and data factory and uh, to perform the uh, uh, file uh, to perform this uh, to work this uh, to make it work this event uh, storage event trigger okay so what i need to do i need to search for this and if you see here i have this provider microsoft dot event grid so, and this is a not registered. So, what we you need to do is you have to select it and you have to register it. Okay, it will take some time and it will register it. And once it will register, then what will happen? Then, uh, then you will be able to uh, activate your storage type of events. Okay, and there will not be any issue in that. So, let's uh, refresh and see it is registered or not. 
So basically, whenever you got such kind of an issue, okay, don't worry. All you have to do is you have to register your event grid service in uh, under your subscription, and then you are good to go. And after that, you can enable it, and uh, there will be no issue. So I'll show you. Uh, event grid thing is basically it is all uh, it's all uh, all together a very big topic. So I'm not going to cover it in this uh, session. My main agenda is to show if this kind of error you will face, what is the solution and how you can resolve it. Okay, so if you can see here, I have refreshed and it got registered. Microsoft dot event grid service is registered okay now you have to go back here and we'll try to start my uh, storage event trigger one more time and try to publish it see we did not get any any of the error okay it is publishing See, you got, uh, you can see publishing completed. So that means, and it is started. It is in started mode. Okay. So right uh, now we did not get any uh, type of uh, issue that uh, fail to activate, uh, fail to activate or uh, fail to, you know, uh, get the subscription, cannot get the subscription status because we have not added it. Uh, we have not started or we have not added the event grid in the subscription. So that's why it was trying to get the subscription status uh, uh, before uh, uh, enabling the, before um, uh, giving the permission it, uh, to enough to enable your storage event trigger. So that's why we were getting this issue. So if you face such kind of issue while creating a storage event trigger, I will recommend to create, uh, to go to your subscription. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll tell one more time. Go to your subscription, open your subscription, go, uh, go here in the resource provider and in the resource provider filter by the event grid. And then if you can see the status of event grid is unregistered in case, then you have to register it, select it and there is a button that register. And then you can register it. Once it is registered, then you can uh, uh, try again uh, starting your uh, event uh, storage event trigger, and then uh, it will be work. Okay. So I think uh, uh, I think it is uh, it will be helpful. Thank you, and have a nice day, guys.